Hi guys, welcome back to F1 Podcast. Uh, Pep alluded in our last video that we were going to talk about the uh, FIA's handing down of a judgment on the Ferrari team orders debacle. Yes. Uh, that decision has now been made. Uh, we know that Ferrari will find $100,000 a couple of, uh, couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And that, that penalty is stood. Yep. And what other what other uh, pecuniary damages have been uh, awarded? Well, as soon as the team order situation happened, Ferrari were slapped with that fine, so that was fine. And then they were told that they were going to have to go to the FAA World Council, you know, a few weeks later. Yeah, or the Motorsport Council. Yes. And then, of course, nothing happened. There was no points lost. They didn't have any other damage to their. Uh, financially or championship wise and I just thought to myself well why did you bother why do you even bother setting up this hearing because it was quite blatant and obvious that there was a team order and so you should have a rule that says if you implement a team order if team orders are banned if you implement a team order the the, the fine or the you know the penalty is X uh, why do you have to go to the FIA council to then find out that there is no further uh, judgment against you. I just thought it was a complete waste of time and I thought that the, I think that there really should be a process for team orders where they actually say okay you're gonna lose your points so you're gonna get a fine or whatever but don't you know it, it really grinds my gears Max. <laughs> grinds my gears. Uh, well yeah I agree with you what an utter waste of time what a laughable fine a uh, hundred thousand dollars to a multi-billion dollar company. Yeah. Oh yeah, shit! Exactly. Really? Yeah. Oh. That's the, that's the price of manipulating the world championship is that you can just pay a fine, you know, less than what it costs to put a, a steering wheel on a Ferrari F1 car. You know, you can just you know this pay is, up. Look, let, let's just call this what it is, and it was bullshit, right? I and I love Ferrari, and I'm you know, all that sort of carry on. I think it's high time that we ban team orders. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a load of shit, quite yeah. frankly, and I've thought that for years. This is a team sport, okay, at the end of the day. Uh, and I'd be embarrassed if I was Rob Smedley. I don't know whether Domenicali or whoever it was told him, uh, or whether or not anyone order. else told him, or whether he made the judgment call himself. And I guess no, he, it was he, a judgment call himself. No, I think he was issued with the order. I think oh, he was told. Yeah. Maybe. Um, but this is just embarrassing. Uh, and, and then for them to tacitly turn around and deny yeah. after uh, the race that there are any team orders issued is, is quite frankly laughable. And it's treating us all, not, not only the Formula One media, but most importantly the fans, yeah. as idiots. Yeah, I just I agree with you, Max. I don't think that they should, you know, I think they should be completely transparent about this and say that team orders are in place. And whether it happens at the, at the front of the grid or the, at the end of the grid, it okay. doesn't matter. Yep. Um, teams are always going to make team decisions and, and to switch their drivers around. And I, I, I'm astounded that a Ferrari did it so appallingly and, and, uh, and I don't know why that happened. It, there could be any number of reasons, but I, I just think they should be well, allowed got, to do this. Well, they've got form, mate, and all we need to do is look back to Austria 2002. Go and ask Rubens about how he felt that day. I mean, we, we all know it goes on. So let, yeah. let's all stop the bullshit and, and just let and just say, right, right. team yeah. orders, they're in play next year. Yeah. Each individual team uh, can put it into the contracts of the drivers that they get. Yeah. This is what's going to happen. After a certain number of races, if someone's in front of you, then they're going to get all the best bits of kit or going into the last race of the season, whoever's leading, they're going to get the best kit for, yeah, the, exactly. uh, for the final. Yeah. I don't care how you do it, yeah. but let's all stop pretending that it doesn't happen because yeah. it bloody does. And this is something that's come from this situation as the FIA has now said, mm, maybe we should look at this, uh, maybe we should change the rule. And look hopefully, at it. Please do. Yeah, Please hopefully bloody look sense at it. will prevail and they'll actually say, well, you know what? We've got, team, uh, we've got team sport here, so therefore team orders are obviously at some point going to come into play. Mm. It's team sport. But so it's, treating, it's that, treating all the fans, mate, who are the most important thing in Formula 1, as idiots. Mm. You know, we, we keep hearing, oh no, definitely not, no, there's no team orders in our team. We, you know, we don't do that. We give both our drivers equal this, that and the other and all that sort of <laughs> fucking bullshit. <laughs> Um, let's just keep it real and just admit that it is a team sport. We all know that. We keep hearing about that. But, mm. if, you know, if and, and I hear, keep hearing people saying, 
Oh, well, if you're going to instigate team orders, at least do it so no one knows that you're doing it. Well, you, that's bullshit. You yeah, can't. You can't, yeah. Okay? Let's just... Well, you shouldn't have to. Call a spade a shovel, yeah. right? There's team orders. Welcome to our team. This is how the team's set up, all right? If you want to join our team, uh, this, is, this is the story. Yeah, This exactly. is what's going on. Yeah. All right? And, and let's just be done with it. All right, well, as you can see, we're fired up about this. Are you fired up about it? Because we're always fired up about it. Always like fired up, yeah. And uh, we've got more videos to come in the next few weeks. We've got uh, the Codemasters game is coming out very soon, and we've been invited a little, to have a little preview, which we won't be able to film, uh, but we will be able to tell you about. So we've got that, and the games are only a couple of weeks away. Now. Mate, it's less than two it's weeks away. So exciting, yeah. And uh, we'll be... Uh Pumping laps of, uh, of spar again. Yeah, exactly. And we'll be doing new videos soon, of course, reviewing the Monza race and also, Max, also, we've got uh, the new regulations coming up for 2013. Uh, There's been heaps of banter about that, so we're going to do a video in the next week or a couple of weeks about the new regs, Max. Looking uh, forward to that. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. See you guys. Bye. Bye.